The 5800X3D decimates Intel. Elon Musk won't be joining Twitter's board after all, and NVIDIA's CPU is fast, fast. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. In fact, why don't you go ahead and tweet at me a picture of your breakfast while you're enjoying hot news. Use the hashtag breakfast and uh, let me know what you got going on. I'm gonna let you know that the 5800X3D appears to be going on. We've got our first benchmark showing off that AMD's new 3D V cache technology is absolutely insane. With the 5800X3D and a 3080 Ti, they were able to manage an average frame rate of 231 FPS, but the 12900K and 12900KS from Intel were only able to manage to do 190 and 200 FPS respectively. And that is with the Intel chips having DDR5, and that is with the Intel chips also having a 3090 Ti, whereas the 5800X3D only had a 3080 Ti. Now likely, because they were running this at 720p, they were very CPU bottlenecked, and the difference between the 3080 Ti and the 3090 Ti wasn't going to be a whole lot, but it does seem to show that the 5800X3D is much, much faster than the other chips by the tune of 15%. However, this doesn't necessarily indicate real world performance. We're not quite sure what difference this is going to make for people who would actually have a 3090 Ti. You're probably trying to play at 1440p or 4K at that point, so it's not really super relevant comparison. However, do consider the fact that the 12900KS costs uh, roughly $800, whereas the 5800X3D is supposed to cost like a $450. So it's all right. It's like, it's not a bad deal. It's supposed to be really fast. It does look like AMD's 3D Vcache is going to be super good. Are you excited for it? We only have about a week left before it launches on 420. So let me hear what you think about it down below in the comments. And I'm going to also show you some new AMD technology. We've got pictures of the upcoming SP5 Epic processors, Noah Zen 4, as well as the socket. This is a massive hunk and behemoth of chips. We're expecting these to be some of AMD's largest ever that are supposed to be in their server environment. We've got the SP5 socket that's gonna have it. And you can just see that this is a massive chip, four different quadrants going plopping in. You can't have more or less than four quadrants, can you? But while the SP5 is big, crypto stonks is losing bigly. Bitcoin's down 7.8% right now to be at under $40,000, just absolutely having a harsh to mellow day. Ethereum also down 9% to be under three grand. Tough day in the Bitcoin market and Dogecoin down 11% today to be at 13.7 cents. It's flip flopping harder than a flip flop. Good job, Brett, proud of you. And while we're talking about things being on sale like crypto stonks, let's talk about the hottest tech deals out on the internet. UFD deals, check it out at the link in the video description. Reese providing us with a good deal on a 1080p 240 hertz monitor from LG. It's down 40% right now to be at only $180 over on Amazon. We also have the Corsair HS80 wireless headphones being $117 right now, which is a 22% discount over on Amazon as well. And Elon Musk saw Twitter was on a discount, bought up. 9.2% of it, said he was going to join the board and then just decided not join the board after all. It came out from the CEO of Twitter yesterday that Elon Musk has decided not to pursue a board seat with Twitter and that it was contingent on a background check and formal acceptance and that Elon Musk was supposed to join as of Saturday, but that is not happening and Elon Musk is no longer going to be doing that and it doesn't appear very clear why Elon Musk is not joining the board. He hasn't come out with an official statement. However, there is some speculation out there that it could be that Elon Elon Musk didn't like the rules that he would have to abide by as a director on the board, or it could be the fact that he actually wants to acquire more shares of Twitter, which according to the type of board member he was going to be, he could only own about 15% of Twitter, not much more than that, but it does appear to be that that is a possibility that he wants to acquire more. However, Elon Musk did like this specific tweet saying, let me break this down for you. Elon became largest shareholder for free speech. Elon was told to play nice and not speak freely. And that's why, it, I, I mean, it's is a conspiracy theory at this point. It doesn't really indicate much about why Elon Musk has chosen not to do it because he hasn't formally come out and said anything. So we'll just have to wait and see what's happening. In case you've been waiting to see what's happening in the PC market, it's shrinking a little bit. At least the growth is shrinking a little bit. PC shipments down 5.1% in Q1 of 2022. Only 80 million units were sold. 80.5 million PCs shipped in the first quarter, which is the seventh consecutive quarter that they've shipped over 80 million PCs. The first time that 
that's happened since 2012. So it's still doing pretty gosh dang well, but not necessarily at the peak of where it was during when everybody was buying a PC because they were doing remote work. A lot of companies suffering. Lenovo down 9.2%, HP down 17.8%. However, Dell's up six, Apple's up four, Asus is up 17.7%, Acer's down six. But overall, a net negative in the PC market. Again, only 80 million units sold. Pathetic, but while there aren't as many PCs being sold, there's not as many PS3s being sold either because it went out of style a long time ago. Kyler, you got a PS3? He ain't got one, and, but some people who do who have been trying to play their video games on that or the PS Vita aren't able to anymore because PlayStation expired their games. Several people reporting games like Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger, and Final Fantasy VI are now listed as expired because they got updated to expire in 1969 at the end of that year, which is not nice. That is a not nice thing that is happening right there. And then you add on to the fact that the PlayStation 3 store is deprecated and you can't actually go buy the games again. It appears that this could either be a bug or a forced feature by Sony to make sure that you move on to the brand new consoles, which, you know what, you wouldn't have that problem if you were on PC, my friends. Although you possibly could, especially if Steam ever goes down, you're gonna lose all your games. But I think if Steam goes down, we probably have bigger problems in the world that you'd probably have to deal with as opposed to, you know, your video games. But that's, that's conspiracy theory, and Nvidia's got a conspiracy theory for you. They're fast. They're faster than Intel. They're so fast that you can't even see them. At least that's what their slides claim, showing that they're uh, two times the amount of throughput as an Ice Lake chip, as well as 2.3 times the amount of energy efficiency. The Grace CPUs, which are supposed to be mega whoppers being fused together, giant goodness, uh, they're faster than Intel. So suck it, Intel, and Intel says, hey, we might have some Alder Lake X chips to come back, enter into the high-end desktop market again, something they haven't done since the 10980XE generation, which was essentially just a 70. 980XE, which was just obviously 14 nanometer plus, 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 plus. They've bowed out because AMD was making good headway with Threadripper. They were selling a ton of those. Intel wasn't selling a whole lot of theirs, but there are some pop-ups that are happening, like in an IDA64 log showing that, yes, indeed, we might get an Alder Lake X, which could either be based on the Alder Lake architecture, or it could be based on the Sapphire Rapids architecture and just be scaled down to be on high-end desktop. It's not quite clear. Intel hasn't said a whole lot, but maybe they might be getting back to looking at competing with Threadripper and AMD on that front. But I'm not going to compete for your time anymore. That's going to be the end of this episode of Hot News. We'll see you here tomorrow for some more. But don't forget that tomorrow we actually have meme review over on our Twitch channel. So in case you want to submit your memes to be in the running for meme review, do so over on our subreddit, which will be linked in the video description. See you tomorrow, friends. We're okay with bad memes as long as you're okay being roasted. I want this meme to die. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, the real Slim's shady, mom's bag bag. Mom's bag bag. <laughs>